Ooh, okay. Hopefully we'll get back on track with a bunch of narrative happening soon. I feel like ever since we finished the cursed quest chain and, and got into those caves uh, before coming here, into, like large bulks of each episode have been like finicky inventory management and combat and trying to troubleshoot how to get through zones and so on in a way that's just kind of been less interesting to deal with. They're all gone. All right, well, what did he drop? A sledgehammer. All right. Ignis hears you. So we're not fighting all of them after all. Honestly, this is so weak, I should probably have just all Ignis's terror, which is actually useful because it has crowd control. Remove curse. It's disappointing that remove curse doesn't actually get rid of, uh... It makes it so you can re remove stuff, but doesn't undo the negative effect on the thing. Black Sphere. It illustrates the power of force. A wave of concussive force explodes out in a 10-foot radius that not only damages, but imprisons as well. One to four points of damage, plus one per caster level to all creatures within a 30-foot radius. Creatures failing a save throw are trapped in a 10-foot radius sphere for the of force for the duration of the spell, even if they make the saving throw, they still take damage from the Black Sphere itself. And here's Elemental Strike, which has been one of my higher level spells for a while. I don't have any level 5 spells, huh? And these are level 6, so I can't cast them! And these are level 7 spells, so I can't cast them! Holy fuck, these are high level spells! God damn. So every time I've used Chain Lightning Storm, that's only been usable as a scroll. And by memorizing it, I've lost the ability to use it as a scroll, but I'll get it eventually, I guess. Where are my level 5 spells? How have I missed level 5 spells completely? That's that's cruel that I have three slots just holding this guy back because he can't get anything better than Elemental Strike. Creates a mystical globe of elemental energy, which successfully hits the target for two to eight points of damage, regardless of saving throw. It then explodes the concussive blast that does one point of damage per level of the caster within a three foot radius. If the saving throw is made, then this concussive blast is negated. The wizard creates a one missile at seventh and an additional missile for every three levels after seventh for a maximum of seven mi missiles. One missile for every third level after seventh. For max of seven. So seven, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen, nineteen. How do you get to seven missiles? Nineteen is five. Love being level being level nineteen is five. Don't you cap out at level twenty in these games? Huh. This might be fun to play with, but I feel I feel like the attack spell is the best thing he can have because uh, he's really being held out held back by not being able to go deeper into this fucking tree. All right, damn it! Oh, this is Ignis. Non undead creatures. At level 9, this becomes 5 missiles. That's collectively a lot of damage, potentially. I 
Hold undead. Because undead need cuddles too. Uh, you, fire and ice, you have a level 5 spell. I probably had the chance to teach that to Ignis instead, and I, could, and I probably should have, since he casts more. They both cast, it's just Ignis has more reason to cast more frequently. Alright, well, we'll get the item off his body, which is a sledgehammer that we'll identify eventually, or now. The passage of time doesn't matter in this game. Hatred's Gift. Another axe. It's a good thing I got axe proficiency specifically. It keeps coming up. 3 to 13 plus 1 berserk when used. Thacko plus 1. It's not good. 3 to 10 plus 3 plus 1 to 6 plus 2? It does not compete while also being a mess. That's identified already. Alright, please take me back to Merchant Land. Alright, and now everyone's reset spell cast should also be memorized. Well, I didn't change that many for them, because a lot of the new stuff I just learned can't be used yet. I'm somehow underleveled. Just by doing, like, all of the content. The spells are outpacing me. I feel like they broke the- oh. Cursed gone. Uh, hopefully I can still get into the the place where Dorana is. Uh-oh. Uh. So Cursed has not done well, it would seem. Cursed gone. Wait, that's a different chunk of map, though. Does that mean we're not in the same place, then? Okay, maybe I thought I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, bleh. I thought that Cursed got destroyed, but maybe this is somewhere else. A different spot of the area. Hopefully, I still try to. Want, I still want to get Anna back. Uh, I thought I had a thought. Damn it! I think there was something I was trying to talk about a second ago before I got surprised by this, and I just I immediately forgot it. I'm sorry. I do not remember what I was trying to talk about one second ago. Okay. Ooh. I'm gone. This is here to taunt me for not being a thief and not having Anna with me right now. Look at all these locked things. Dude, this place is destroyed. Hopefully I'm right about the map indicating this is a different place. Two staircases going somewhere. That's not a good sign. That sure looks like the, curse, the gate to Carcery from earlier. Maybe Cursed is gone. As you approach, the rotting heads on the gate begin to speak to you, chanting words back and forth between themselves from coherent sentence to form coherent sentences. Gone, gone, lost to the betray the betrayer, lost to the light. Okay, so the angel did this, huh? What happened to the town? Gone on the wind, swept on. A tide of evil. Through the gate, gone, gone. The town, gone, lost to its own hatred. Through the gate, into the red prison. The prison plain, carcery. Can't you speak normally? Beyond the veil, all is shadowed, illuminated. Nothing translates. Nothing easy, no. 
All right, what happened to you? Betrayed, despised, framed, punished, executed, made an example of, hung here by enemies, lost, lost, lost. Where is everyone? Gone on the wind. The carcery. Tell me about carcery. The prison plane. Chaos. Evil. Worlds within worlds. Orbs within orbs. Strung out like malign pearls in the skies. The bread prison. Doom of titans and gods alike. Do you have any idea how to get there or get it back here? Oh? Oh, the town's not destroyed, it just went to Carcery? Because of the gate town thing? Through the gate, into the prison. No return from the prison, no return. Go through the gate, go through the gate. Your destiny awaits you there. What do you know about my destiny? Updated my journal. The diva awaits you. The head falls silent. Heads fall silent. And do not react to further questions. I've been here before, this time I will not leave. Well, this is grim. Yeah, so this is the northern part of Cursed. Yeah, this was the... One of the brothers' houses. Right there. Seeing if I can find anything around here. You can see the outlines of where some of the buildings once were. I'm hoping that one of these... Wait, can I not go down here? Uh, am I just SOL with Anna? I just can't get her back? Damn it. They're playing with my expectations so many times here. Like, okay, you can go back to Carcery. You'll get you'll be able to get her back. It's kind of a dick move to introduce a party member there of all places when you like when it's at that point you're likely to be hitting your cap. Given the party members I have so far, that seems like it would be the single most likely place for you to hit your cap and be and have to swap people out potentially. So the fact that it seems to not be exist anymore or something, or I can't go there anymore, just is a nightmare. And the game's never introduced any mechanic for swapping party members or getting them back that I know of. So like I don't Am I- I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to get Anna back. Like, I don't know. There's moments where they practically teach you to let people- to leave people behind, because Mort needs to be left behind to avoid the tower at that one point, for example. But then you have characters like... You have moments like this. And it's like, I don't... Darkness, mothers of I don't have an HQ anywhere. I don't have a place where they go. I don't- I don't know. There's a lot of other RPGs where I'd have some idea of what to do and swapping party members is super common because you only can have like two or three at a time or something. This In this game I honestly thought that you were... because they never introduced anything even slightly like that, I just kind of thought that the number of party members you had was stronger. was the cap for how many there were in the game. I wasn't expecting to find another one at all once I, once I filled out the little screen down there. Saving throws have improved, fighting skills have improved, one characteristic point gained, three hit points gained. Um, more strength, I guess. He has comically high stats for a, uh, for a D&D character. Oh, at this right. point. Well, now the fuck, okay, welcome to Carcery! It's, uh, oh, there's the Pillar of Skulls. That's that's also a new chunk of the map. There's Outlands. There's Pillar of Skulls. There's Carcery. There's two more areas. Cursed looks pretty filled in now, given what just happened. But here's Carcery, and then there's two more future places to come up. And I, I don't know. They said it'd be gone for a while, but it might have been forever? 
maybe I'll never be going back to Sigil ever again to potentially look at the other guilds or something. You have returned to a town of calamity, stranger. The diva rises triumphant above the wreckage, having dragged us here to our dooms. There is only one way to return, and that is to strike the diva down, to cause the town to recant its treachery and deceit. The stronger the belief of the town in forgiveness, the weaker the, the, weaker the diva. Oh, that's the caretaker of the dump. Trias did all this? My journal. The diva rose from the ground and condemned the town's iniquities. A great confusion arose as the buildings tumbled around us. And then we arrived. There is only one way to combat Trias, and that is to weaken him by good deeds and turning the townsfolk's minds away from chaos and evil towards goodness. Otherwise, he shall surely triumph. He looks about himself. I have work to I have work to attend to. Should you require resting, seek the old barracks or the distillery. Now take this; it will aid you. Good luck. Farewell. Done. Tovus Giljaf, Berog. Help! Someone help! You see an aging Githzerai, trapped under the wheels of a wagon that must have fallen on it during the chaos. He spits a bloody wad and grins up at you. Not gonna help me, are you? It's what brought us here in the first place. He laughs weakly. Who are you? He is a true traitor to the Githzerai. He has cursed our people. Dacon draws his blade. That is reason enough for him to die. What does that mean? In what way? Put the blade away, Dacon. Yes. Put the blade away, Zerth dog. Okay. Unnecessary. I'm trying to de-escalate here. I spit on your teachings. Wear your chains. Wear your chains a little longer. The Githzerai turns his head toward you. I am Tovas Gilyaf. I used to be the burger of this town until the accursed diva broke free. You were the burger. My compatriots and I, we were using the city as a base to return ourselves to power. But this is another story for another day. Free me. All right, get ready. His thin mouth compresses further still. Then lift, damn you, and be done. Let's do it. As you prepare you to lift, you, you hear a cry of agony from the other side of the cart. Oh, does the act of lifting free one of them tilt the cart and kill the other one? Aye! There's someone on the other side! You're killing me! That is what's happening. Who are you? My name is Barog Quickshoes. I came to Cursed to free the diva creature of good, but I was misinformed. I should never have come. Lift the cart of Burger. Probably not, and just kill him. <laughs> what are you doing down there? I was fleeing the city when it began to slide. I was near him, and he grabbed me. The wagon fell from the sky, and he tried to shove me under it while he escaped. But I still ask that you Find a way to free him as well. I still command the guards of Cursed. I can inspire them, aid them, slow the tide of monsters that stands between you and the diva. Free me and your tasks shall be easier. Free him and you gain nothing. You gain nothing by freeing me, I confess to that. But surely the tide of goodness will swing if you save me without the thought of gain. Self-contradictory sentence there. Or, like, this is getting in the head of the, like... This is, this is funny. This is like a deconstruction of video games, but... I don't know how common this kind of thing was yet in these games. When I think about morality meters, I think about the original Knights of the Old Republic and the light side, dark side meter, and then how further Bioware games tended to include something like that for a while. But I think I think it came from Kotor, and I, I don't think that I don't think their older games had that. But I've never played them, so I don't know. Uh, 
But obviously, they, they, if the D and D ones, the D and D ones probably had an alignment system of some kind, but not such an obvious like thing like that, like that meter of just the a binary morality concept. That's just kind of a broken idea. But uh, here we're talking about how we need to be good in order to save this place. But it's like this weird meta mess where you're being good for. You're trying to perform goodness for an ulterior motive to move the city, which questions whether or not it's possible to be good in that context when you know about that it's a, a mechanical meter that you're manipulating. And that has the extra level of commentary in video games, at least now it feels like it does in 2023, where games will try to make mechanics out of morality and, and even give you rewards based on how good or bad you are in a game, and so on, be it alternate endings or even abilities tied to your morality, or party members tied to your morality, or stat changes that make it a metagame thing where min-maxing involves a certain morality, and so on. So, him saying to me that if I save him without thinking about my personal game, then we can change the tide of goodness to the city, that's personal gain. My mission is to try to move the city, potentially. I guess it's not necessarily true. Technically, I'm here to defeat the diva because he betrayed me, and also because he still might know the answer to my mortality. Technically, the nameless one doesn't care about the fate of the city, I guess, so it's just a chance to manipulate it. But if you are trying to save the city, then that does call into question the idea of doing good for good's sake when the good's sake isn't for good's sake, because it's for the purpose of specifically saving the city. So you're doing a calculus. It's just that in a different context, when a... When a, a city is under siege and in a form of chaos then the leader of the city being indebted to you would be something that potentially benefits you and so you might do make a for the greater good choice there that is uh where you potentially save the worst person for good reasons but here you can save the, the uh you can save the the good person for good reasons and there isn't a conflict of like, but it's the harder way, and you be and you benefit nothing by being good. It's like, no, actually, you gain a lot from being good because you're trying to shift this, the tides of the city to be good. But anyway, yeah, I want to try to find out how to save both of them, but I don't know if I can. I'll figure out a way. This guy's such a piece of shit that not only was he the telegraphed corrupt leader of the city, but he also grabbed Barog when he was trying to escape, and then threw him under the cart and got him stuck here in the first place. Which double go works against him, both because uh, we might kill him to save Barog, but also like, just being decent, we might save him regard- we might have saved him regardless, as so long as Barog wasn't there, just because all it is is lift cart or don't lift cart, and so we might have made that choice regardless if it wasn't for Barog being here, which he put there, so he double fucked himself. Who are you? Put the blade away. What can you tell me of the diva? We had imprisoned it oh so many years ago. I thought it perfectly hidden from all my all-sniffing dogs and traitors. Suddenly it burst from under the earth, blazing, and my beautiful, beautiful home slid. He looks at you intently. I would have my revenge. Free me, yes? I can't say I think much of your town. I don't either, but it's mine. And to see it lost to that preening, self-righteous diva, it is more than I can bear. He coughs wetly. Free me and I shall aid you in your revenge on him. My guards can hold off the monsters for a time. You see Barog Quickshoes, the would-be diva rescuer, trapped beneath a wagon that has lost an ax axle. Please, mate. You've got to get this thing off me. Wait. There's another fellow still trapped on the other side. 
He's still there. You, you have to find a way to save him too. Better him than me. I think he was the mayor of this burger or whatever they have here. It's the burger, you little fool. Wow. So nice to the guy that's advocating for not killing you. He turns his attention to you. I still commend the town. Uh, I guess you have to look around to find a better way. Or there isn't a better way. I'm gone. Which is very possible. Some games will mock you for even trying to think about the idea of there being a third neutral option that where you get away from stuff. Get away with stuff. Like, uh... Kind of like moments in uh, in Lisa, where it's like, do this good thing, or this, uh, do this thing that's self and uh, that's uh, make the selfish choice or the selfless, very damaging choice. Or what's this third option? What's what's going on here? And then that, then you do that. You don't don't close. Don't pick that one. That one doesn't go well. You guys seem to not be doing well. Oh, shit. But the fight was over. Nobody was doing anything. Any named characters? No. I don't... You really don't need to name the female characters separately. This is this is this is normal default townsperson, and this is female townsperson, an un, a non-default thing to be, a woman. <laughs> better abilities, more lore hit points. I believe no better memorization, but I still have this. Heal. Spell brings forth the ultimate power of healing. It cures all blindness, all disease, and completely restores the target. It restores all hit points to the target. Yes! There we go. A maximum strength healing spell. There we go. Can I go in this building at all? Seems like no. Can't go in here, like there's no door. Okay. It's a little... I'm trying to figure out how to navigate this place. It's a little tricky, because almost the entire map is, uh... Almost the entire area is like this. Can I raise dead? Hang on, I'm gonna see if this is, uh... Because the thing is, it should be within the rule book that I could be able to do this, but I don't know if the game will let me, so I feel like it's a, it's a worthy save scum moment. Because I have a solution, but I don't know if the game will actually let me do it, whereas a dungeon master probably would. The most precious gift is bestowed upon all who are lost to the living. The Nameless One is able to cast three times per day and is replenished when he, reset, when he rests. The spell restores life back to any slain individual chosen. No saving throws required. It doesn't say, like, and there's no categorization of who it has to be. When we talked, uh... When they, when we, when I was given the spell, I think it was explained that they had to be somebody in my, who died in my presence. So like, if I, if I kill Barog here, I could revive him, potentially. You cannot trust this one. Let him perish here, under the cart. No, Dacon, we're pulling him out. Let's do it. Too bad. <laughs> you throw your weight against the cart and manage to lift it enough for him to squirm out from underneath. You hear a scream of agony cut off suddenly by a wet squelching on the other side of the cart. My thanks, human. I go now to the walls to aid my guards. My city shall not perish. He gives you a crooked smile. I do not envy you, the diva. He is a fearsome opponent. Take this, it may aid you. Farewell. In knowing the teachings of Zerathamon, I have become 
stronger. What do you give me? Not rest shit. Right, just says item anyway. Uh Scroll of Meteor Bombardment, is that what it gave me? And then two people leveled up, but maybe I shouldn't focus on that right now. Gotta test this. Ray is dead. Oh, that boat's poorly. Ray is dead. What? What did I just do? Sorry's bones tell. That's just his items, not his character. Nope. Okay, so I can't save him that way. Can revive party members, but it can't revive them apparently. Yes. Maybe if I can amass these people that I saved to help lift the cart as a group, like straight up. Thank you. Without you, they would have torn us apart. I know. Farewell. <laughs> All right. They'll just start running when I talk to them. Okay. Does the number of people I collectively save affect something narratively? Because they seem to all- it's, it feels like I just redeemed them all by- like as a currency. Like an in-game currency of like... how saved the city is or something? I don't know. Now they're all running around like they're going somewhere and like... Maybe there's a location where all of the people I've collectively saved gather? The thugs? are really being a problem right now, huh? Okay. Okay, you taunt that guy before he gets this lady gets killed. There we go. Uh, get this guy before he gets before he kills your healer. Okay, she's doing okay. That's Jacelia. Wasn't she the one that was getting slaved? What do you wish, Ignis? Strong these guys are not. I'm going to quickly kill these guys too, just while my buffs are still active. That guy died instantly. Uh quick one while the buffs are active. I'll talk to other people later. Okay, no, you don't need- okay, 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 You don't need to be in front. <laughs> you specifically do not to be, need to be in front. There's some damage. I am too strong for whatever's happening here right now. Okay, I'm just gonna keep fighting because there's a lot of enemies to fight. And my buffs have durations. Let's try to keep that going. Why is Tekalak rank listed listed as a friend? We must set things right. Wait, is that the guy from earlier? Who, uh, I only met him once. There was a guy in the sewer that had a name, and he was not hostile, but he seemed to be up to some shit. Die. 
You there, you'll start opening crates one after another. You look to the crates, grab their small items and sacks and pile them by the door. Are you guys looting right now? Get on here. The large guardsman is bellowing orders to the civilians gathered around him. He glares at you through slits in his helm as you interrupt him. What do you want? Uh, what do you want, Piker? And make it quick before we get to work in here. What's going on here? What's it look like, you sod? We're about to loot this warehouse. You want on the action or not? Because this ain't gonna be some sorry ass disorderly mess. We're doing it right. And I'm giving the orders. If we can calm things down, it'll help the town slide back into the Outlands. Once cursed is wholly overrun with monsters, how long do you think you'll live to enjoy the spoils of your looting? But... Ah, hells, you're right. He shouts to the looters who've gathered around him. Right, you heard the man. Let's get going. And if anyone speaks of this, when we get the town slid back, you're dead. Now let's go, move. He turns to you again. And as for you... You've a better brain on your shoulders than it looks. Good man. Now people are leveling. Elmerization. Oopsie. Elmerization. Nah. Yay. Chain Lightning Storm. It feels like an obvious one to want. The Globe of Invulnerability, similar to, uh, similar to its sister spell, Anti-Magic Shell, this enchantment restricts certain magic from entering its confines. Yet, unlike its sibling, its spell, the spell allows magic to flow outward from within. The spell creates an immobile sphere of magic that prevents any first to fourth level spells effects from penetrating, even area effect spells. Uh, it's only anti-magic then. I feel like magic attacks aren't that common. Whereas things that can, can, kill, can, can get killed by lightning are very common. <laughs> Woohoo! Right. Really need to get the other guy a level 5 spell. I love buffs on us. Done. Although when I loot, time freezes. No! Oh my god. It's all the way up here. At level 8 spells. Level 9 spells, Abyssal Fury. Jesus Christ. This guy will never not have spells to learn. Except here! This is where my trophy would be if I had one! Uh, go away, stilettos and daggers. I desperately, 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 desperately wish I could put healing items in her inventory and they would go to the slots where they already are. I really just gotta use up these embalming things already. Just kind of as general bonuses whenever. Uh. Okay. Inventory's got too much bullshit in it. They just had to do, introduce. Okay, I know that these. I know for a fact this sells for shit. Okay. Uh, mm, one of these might sell for something. Actually, I don't remember which one. One to four. Two to five. The green steel dagger might sell for more. I think these ones might be shit.
Like someone might buy the cursed item, but they wouldn't be very smart to do so. One of Ravel's long gray hairs it looks old. It looks like her normally gray hair is turning even wider, a shade of gray, a few feet long, looks pretty tough. Okay, so this is not a usable item at the moment. It's just something I put up there because because I could do that to get it out of my way. But it is a key item that may or may not come up some at some point. Black Barb Shield is like Iron Maiden, basically. Damages whoever hits you. Fire resistance. I always sell these because they don't seem that like they come up that much as being useful. Okay, we cleared out a chunk of map, and also the enemies don't seem very strong here. Okay, what's in here? Cursed warehouse. The anarchists are in here. Are they going to help at all or make I'm things gone. worse? Anyway, here I am looting after the thing I said. <laughs> oh my goodness. Your critical wounds. Only use the priest. Assume she already has that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, these are shit. Not good. Only usable by mages. This bracelet is a variation of the Magus Guard, essentially using the same spells and glyphs as its predecessor. The Magus Shield is better able to focus the energy of the enchantments placed upon it. Armor class 4. Okay, will it make either of my mages have better armor? Let's see, this guy's wearing a silver bracelet, so... AC 1. Okay, that's better. Take it, I will. Could have given these to you so you can cast them as spells. No one else has bloat flies right now. Let's see. Doesn't hurt to just have these on my quick bar so I can cast them as attacks. A pleasure. Very well. Ancient scroll. Despite its age, the scroll is amazingly well preserved. Strange symbols have been carefully penned onto the parchment. Okay. You can use it. The scroll is filled with flowing cryptic runes that can make neither head that you can make neither he heads nor tails of. Perhaps a mage could decipher the meaning behind them. Okay. That item is important to me. Oops. I cannot part with it. Full inventories drive me up the fucking wall. Can't use it though. I right, go into my inventory and then use it on you. I will hear you. No. Using it doesn't give me a cast button. Do I have to become a mage in order to do it? Am I stuck as being not a mage at this point? I don't even... Ebb Creek Knees is here. Wait. Gone. The guide from a different place entirely? You see Ebb Creek Knees. A halo of smoke wreaths his smile as he says, Well met by chaos, traveler. What brings us to these parts? What are you doing in here? Why, we plot and scheme, my friend. With the, old, with the order of the town toppled, we're in a unique position to ensure that our views are heard. And I'm in charge of this little band of adventurers. Only for command purposes, of course. Is Ebb a member of the Anarchists? I never found out this stuff. What exactly are you scheming? When the people see their leaders failed them, chances are good they'll crush the power structures that have repressed them and make something new, something beautiful. We're going to help them. 
Oh, so you're going to help fight the fiends then? His self-assured exterior slips for a moment. What do you mean? What I mean is that while you've been plotting the overthrow of the city government, evil has come to Cursed and is destroying the, what's left of the city. But we must do something. All our work will be for naught if they're all dead. Here, take this. He turns to his brethren. We must go, or all our work will be for naught. Come on. He races for the door. Yay! That was good to hear. I was worried that the anarchists were going to be like some sort of massive hypocrite douchebags that like just lee like they're just like aha everything's fucked what a chance to use our to enact our ideology or whatever it's like guys demons are attacking <laughs> it's like what like you just they just didn't know apparently which okay <laughs> why do you have reduced strength why does he have eight strength Spell behavior affected by the plane of carcery. The power is wait. Oh, does power of one is it weaker in this plane? How does the plane of carcery work? Wait, am I am I? Do my buffs not work here? Yeah, it was no. It was noteworthy that they said. Uh, I'm interested in the fact that this game seems to understand what an anarchist is, because a lot of it's often not understood at all. Like they talked about, like I'm in charge of, I'm I'm in charge here, just for this, just just for this mission, of course. As in, like saying, like he's like, he for organizational purposes, uh, he's giving the orders on this mission, but he's not like the leader of this group of people. I'm gone. Because anarchists are against the idea of hierarchies, seeing them as damaging and and. Uh, the source of a lot of the evil. And, it's, and in this place in particular, this was a very bad hierarchy. Like, it's, it really unambiguously, the burger sucks. I'm kind of wondering if I should just save the other guy at the cost of killing the burger, even though he doesn't want me to. To Scampa. A lot of armor, not enough. There's so many demons. How am I too far away? Aren't we in a pile right now? Nope. Hate it the same color. It makes it so hard to tell them apart when I'm just dragging things around. Scroll of Desert Hell. Level 5 wizard! No! Eh. Someone take a ring. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't even know what it did yet. Uh. 50 by, by 50 feet area, saving throw, one half. Hell is an oft debated term. Some say hell is Bator, others the abyss. This spell proffers that nothing could be worse than the endless dunes that scorch heat and scorching heat of the desert. The spell summons the scorching heat of the desert plains to scorch all enemies within sight. Enemies within range must save verse spell or spontaneously combust for 4 to 40 points of damage. Even if they save, they will still take half damage from the Searing Heat. It does say enemies. So it's a lot of damage on a huge area. A massive AoE that does damage to enemies only, apparently. Unless that, unless they're going to betray me and hit my teammates with it, despite saying that in its phrasing. This woman can only stare at you. You've saved me. Thank you so much. I would be dead or worse without you. She offers her arms and moves to embrace you. Opens her arms. Allow her to put her arms around you. She squeezes you tightly. Her cheek, 
wet with tears, presses up against your chest. After a time, she steps back and looks up at you, smiling. I must leave, but let me say thank you. I shall not forget your kindness. Farewell, traveler. They give you have the option to basically assault her. There's a bit of a betrayal over the entire scenario preceding that. Can I tell these guards to help at all, or what? Where are you guys going? You guys get taunted or something? I'm trying to get you to kill something. They won't listen to me. Um, we can go in here. I could find the click spot. Oh, Caster! What's up, Chief? He's about to get mortared. You know, if I gotta slam my eyeball, that didn't work. You one more second, I'm gonna puke. What's the word, Chief? Ignis wishes to burn. What's up? Aggro him off. Make you look good. Yeah. There we go. Dog. All right. My thanks for your help. I'll work on organizing my friends. He pauses. Such as they are. Go on now. There we go. He's alive. More bad guys. Did you see that? It's a good thing we're getting very strong and these guys can't really do anything to us anymore. Really wish that Kester would let me use his use him as a merchant though. Even though this would be a weird time to care about money. On their end. I just got so many rings and I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I think every single inventory is full now. Okay, I think I can safely get rid of the stupid fucking thing about traps in the inner sanctum. I'm <laughs> Three of my inventory slots are taken up by pieces of me. Help. Can I still not get this to do anything? Examine the sphere. Yeah, it always feels like an egg that's about to burst open. I'm just... I'm just I have such weird items in my inventory, and I just have no idea what they're for. And they do not give you much information when you read them. Oh my god, these guys give you experience, though. 14,000 per kill in some of these cases. It really is the great equalizer. It's like, oh yeah, you did a little side quest earlier in the game? <laughs> Every enemy you fight here gives you as much experience as that entire side quest did. Or most side quests did. It's an enchanted item, it's gotta be worth something. I'm gonna be throwing these daggers away again soon. I'm gone. Yeah, I'm not really encountering people that can help me, seemingly. Tekalak. This is the guy that was scheming earlier? You see the Kinergen, Tekalak. It gives you an amused smile. So, we meet again, little human. What do you want? I have some questions. By all means, ask your questions. It gives you a humorous smile. What has happened to Cursed? Why all the changes? It shrugs. Exactly what I warned you of when we last talked. What was that? It sighs and looks away. Cursed was a border town, placed between two extremes. On one side were the Outlands, and on the other, the Plain of Carcery. It's, it pauses. 
Yes, I understand that. What upset the balance and caused the city to slide into carcery? It shrugs. Trius. He was the cause. Because of him, chaos got the upper hand and slid the city into carcery. And here, I will, it will stay unless drastic measures are taken. What can be done? Determine which way the city has slid and apply an opposing force. Too much order? Instigate some chaos. Too little order? Impose more law. It smiles at you. If you are persistent in your efforts, you can pull the city back into its border status. Or slide it to the opposite extreme. You're saying someone needs to impose law and order on the city. It smiles at you. Yes! That is exactly what I am saying. Would you help me in this? It gazes at you steadily for some time before answering. Yes, I believe it would be within my best interest to do so. My servants and I would gladly assist you. You've been very helpful, which brings up another question. Why? Why what? You Batesi were supposed to be the incarnations of evil, so why are you being so helpful? It barks at a laugh and smiles at you. Do not mistake my help as kindness nor me as anything other than evil. I am helping you because it serves my needs, nothing more. How does helping me serve your needs? I think it's because he wants to take this place to being a lawful evil place. How indeed, it continues to smile at you. I don't think I want his, I don't think I want his help. I think we, we got pulled into chaotic evil territory and it sounds like he wants to pull us into all, all the way across into lawful evil territory instead of being neutral. Hmm. All right. He's definitely not up to anything good, is he? Would not trust it. God, there are a lot of demons here. Oh, it is a blue rusted dagger. That means it's probably worth more than normal. Potentially. All right. Ah! Crazy mage. The dickhead. You, you have ranged attacks. Fuck him up. I don't know how to reach this guy. But Ignis can see you. Okay, I, I don't think we... Our AI doesn't know how to get up there at the moment. All right, everybody else fight this guy. Ignis cast murder on him. Oh, God damn it! he's getting... He's being stopped from casting. Did I lose that one, maybe? There we go. The mage died. The worry about trying to fight mages with magic is that they might be very resistant to it, because they're mages. So that, not, be, that being my primary way of attacking at range is bad in that situation. Get these demons out of the way for one second so I can talk to these guards about the burger. You see one of cursed guards. He's bloodied and panting. Got no time to talk. You got a free hand. You can help with the defense. He waves a hand at you, dismissing you. What happened? What happened was some damn fool said something free and suddenly we're in car three fighting for our lives. Now get out of here and do something useful. Yeah, I can't. I can't enlist them to help. Uh, what's going on? Also, there's just... The loot's gonna get out of hand in this area. Yeah, I want to recruit these people to help lift the wagon, but no one's going to... Okay, I can't even talk to them about that, unfortunately. That is not what's going to happen here.